Almost time. Almost time. Almost time. Almost time. I'm so excited. It is a hot day. It is hot and it is sticky. It's like 90 degrees. And they're saying it's like 20% humidity, 25% humidity. But coming from Vegas? It's not, it's not 20% humidity. It feels like it's 100% humidity. Unless you're coming from Florida. In that case, it probably, it probably feels pretty dry. Uh, I'll have you come up because you're scanning your ticket first. Okay. So this, this whole process is new for us. Like everything is new. The, the tickets on the, uh, we, we are annual pass holders. So we've never done it. Like this. Like before. this, yeah. right. So we, we typically. I'm like, nervous. Like, oh, do I, do I do scan things? Right. Like, we, so we typically walk up with our AP and we're just buzzed right, right in. So this, is a, this whole process is like a different thing for us. Are they gonna take pictures of us? All sweaty. I think so. All sweaty and. I mean, yeah, as it should be. All, sw all sweaty and, and, and moist. Yeah. Have you noticed they're not handing out? There's no park maps. Oh, yeah. Well, that's yeah. interesting. Yeah, no park maps. Okay, so how does this process work? So we buzzed in with our ticket. We buzzed in with our ticket. It's super easy. Okay, so they take your picture and then what happens? Then they handed you a, uh, an actual physical. Let's move out of the way here because we're like right in the. Uh, but we have everything on the app. So if you want, you can use this or you can just use. The oh, okay, app. so we don't need both. No, I don't. Are you so. sure? I'm gonna keep it just to be safe because I don't. For really some reason, know. I thought I heard her say that she needs to see both the ticket and the app. I will put them in my Boba Fett wallet. Oh my gosh, we're in the park. <laughs> There's the train. Here comes the train. Here comes the train. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? And it's loaded with people. Loaded with people. It does look busier than I thought it was going to be. A lot of people are still filing in. Yeah. yeah a lot of people still coming in. Yeah, it's a little past 12. We thought we'd get here a little bit late. Actually, it's not. It's 10 to 12. So we've got 10 minutes to try Rise of the Resistance boarding groups if we want to do that. But yeah, a little busier than I thought, but we'll see how it is as the day progresses. closed and we were looking in here like oh how will it be how weird. it's like we never left it's like it's the like, pandemic never happened it's like it's weird because it's been uh wow. nearly two years since we've walked into okay. the park and stood on these stones and these 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 bricks and pavement and uh it's our first just that i mean you're seeing it as we're seeing it uh this is our experience walking in and it's it's as though nothing has changed like it's been here every day wow. open functioning as, as normal as the amazing place that it is you know I didn't know how I was gonna react honestly uh, did not know how I was gonna take this walking in and now that I'm in I'm just kind of like yeah let's go <laughs> let's go do some stuff 
Let's go ride some some rides. Let's go see the pirates. Let's go see the Yeti. It's it's weird because we watch so many YouTube videos. Everything feels so much bigger when you're actually here. You know what I mean? Like uh, it's, the Matterhorn yeah. is massive. The castle is massive. It is bigger than I remember it being. Wow. Which is kind of a strange, strange thing to explain. She is beautiful, as she has always been. Yes. Whenever we're a week out from our trip and we're getting like things prepped, we always set a reminder on my phone to say, where are we a week from now? Yeah, so you did this a week I ago. I did this a week ago and we were just having lunch, just hanging out. Having lunch. It just popped in on my phone. Yay! There it is. As, as we're walking into the park. <laughs> nice. There it is. And I remember when we yeah. set that reminder, we said, where are we going to be? And I said, what? Either walking in or eating lunch. That's we're probably going to be just walking in. Yeah. Unless we get up really, really early, in which case we'll be eating wow, lunch. How cool is that? And oddly enough, we'll probably be doing both very soon. <laughs> exactly. Walking in and then getting lunch. So, oh, hello Disneyland. Hello Disneyland. We've missed you. Yes, we have. The music, the people. Oh my gosh. The flowers. It's amazing. I'm kind of at a loss for words, to be honest. Very, very cool. Very, 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 very cool. It's actually kind of hard to vlog because I just want to turn this off and go play. <laughs> right. You know, and maybe we'll do exactly that. I don't know. We're going to be here for a full week. And uh, man, the stories we're going to be able to tell you. Really, really excited. So cool. Wow, how cool is that? Magic's happening. Magic is happening. As, as we walk in. Magic is happening. This is amazing. And here we are front and center. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? That's so cool. <laughs> Magic. Magic is we've been in here like under two minutes. <laughs> this is so cool. I think, I think it's five minutes or less, and magic is already happening. This is how you should start your day at Disneyland. This is this is just how like it should. Yeah, you should start just like this. I agree. Look at that, Mickey and Minnie leading the way. Check it out. How cool is this? Nice. Oh, that's fun. The only thing we're missing is fireworks in the middle of the day. Awesome. Are you kidding me? That was so cool. That was the coolest way to start your day. Let's go do something. <laughs> okay, so this is one of our little landmarks. The clock. I don't know why. I don't know how it became a thing, but we call it the shanty clock. I love this clock. You love the clock. Yes. 
I like to walk in every trip and see what time we've walked in for the day. Right. It's just a, it's a, for whatever reason, it's a big deal to you. Um, we've never paid much attention to it. No, but she's like, hey, it's 9.13. And we're like, okay. Oh, oh okay. Cool. Okay. It's 9.13. <laughs> cool. What time is it now? It's 11.58. See? So we're walking into the park. We've, we've walked under the tunnel. We've had magic happen with a band. Yes. And now we're at the shanty clock. Yes. I'm sure everybody has their own name for a lot of stuff here. <laughs> we call it the shanty clock. Yay. And it's, what is it, noon? Well, it's almost noon. Okay. It's almost time for Rise of the Resistance. <laughs> Whoa. It's almost time for Rise of the oh. Resistance. Let me, get out let me, your thing. Get, get ready. Data pad out. Get your data pad out. And oh, let's see if we can get this right. Wait. Hold on. Let's do it. I've never done this before. For Disneyland Park, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh. Don't do it yet. No, it's at noon. Hold on. Continue. Join. Create your party. Select all. Three. Join. Hurry, hurry. hurry. Done. Let's see. Did we get it? No. I don't know. We've never done Did we this do it wrong? Virtual cues. Oh, we got a boarding group. We got in. Okay. 298. <laughs> That's like at the very end. There is like no chance <laughs> of us getting in today. Boarding group 298. Can you see it? We can see it. There it is. Boarding group 298. All right. You got to have faster fingers, man. You got to have We've faster fingers. Before. That's true. <laughs> All right, well, we can try it again tomorrow. We're noobs at this. We've got five days, so. All right, as of yesterday, I think as of yesterday, a lot of these stores have opened for the very first time, which includes one of our favorite places, Cope Corner, uh, which has been closed forever. It's been closed for a very long time. If you look here along the curb really quick, you can see the, uh, you can see the sticker marks. Oh, you can. Where they used to say, hey, don't sit here. And then you would scroll down further, and you get further down, and they'd say, hey, don't sit here. Do we need to make our way into Coke Corner just to see what it looks like? It's only been open it's for a, a day. It's only been open for a day. Here it is, after being closed for a year and a half, the day after it's open. It's one of the few places in the park that's largely unchanged, yeah. right? Yeah. It is what it has always been. Wow, lots of memories here. So many memories. Mickey pretzels, cheese. The infamous uh, mac and cheese hot dog, which the, was not good. The infamous mac and cheese hot dog was purchased right here. in 2017. And I was so excited for this infamous mac and cheese hot dog until I ordered it and it was pretty much the grossest thing I've ever eaten in my life. <laughs> Disney does everything right. Except mac and cheese. Except mac and cheese. They don't do mac and cheese well at all, yeah. Head, head out to La Brea, exactly. Look at the Matterhorn! Look at the Matterhorn. Look at it. Isn't it great? It's beautiful. I have to be honest with you, I could go see the real Matterhorn and I'd probably be less impressed. Same here. After how long we've waited. Okay, what's the first thing we did? Well, we came in, we went under the tunnel, we looked at the Shannon clock. Magic was happening with the Disneyland band. I think Cruella's got a thing for me, I'm not quite sure. And and now this. You gotta get a drink. First Look at things these first. Cups. Look at yeah. these Brand are. new cups. Yeah. Um, very Mary Blair. Right. Who did Sleeping Beauty and she also did Small World and, and a lot of murals at yeah. Disney World and here at Disneyland. They are gorgeous. Awesome thing is if you're a legacy pass holder, you yes. still get discounts. Right. So you still got a discount, which is great. How much of a discount do we get for the 15%? For the 15 wow. wow, nice. There you go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Have you not been using your passport? You haven't been using your passport? Your annual? Oh, you gotta use it. I could have saved a lot. A lot of money. I love your ears, by the way. Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm having a bit of a uh, a uh, social social conscious conundrum. Okay. Because we have the paper straws, right? Which you can see right here. Right. Paper straws. For me to consume this beverage. I'll need eight. <laughs> eight paper straws. I got you an extra. Yeah. Carry extra. So, what do I do? Do I kill turtles or do I kill the trees with my eight paper straws? <laughs> what? How? How can I be more conscious? These are life's questions right here. First world problems right here with the paper straws. So, oftentimes we walk into the park and we will go a full day without really even doing attractions. Yeah. 
it, it's not uncommon for us to do that. Before. And that's what's so amazing about Disneyland is that if you're coming here for the rides, I mean, that's great. Uh, rides are fantastic. But if you're coming here for everything but the rides, it's even better. That's where you get the Disney magic. It, it, it really is true. Um, Chandler's not wrong. Uh, I know that's a, it's a hard sell, especially when there's no annual passports. It's kind of hard to say, yeah, I'm going to drop a hundred bucks and I'm going to come in and just sit around. But it's awesome when you do do it. It's a lot of fun. Man, this park looks so gorgeous. So Shannon, stereotypically, I mean, typically when we do these things, Shannon picks the first ride. We come in. And uh, so we're heading into Adventureland now to find out what the first ride is going to be. I'm thinking Big Thunder. Yeah, she's thinking Big Thunder because that's her favorite ride. Shannon's two favorite rides are Matterhorn and Big Thunder. <laughs> Chandler's, on the other hand, is... Pirates. Pirates. I mean, I mean it's, there it's it Pirates. Right yeah. there. It's um, right on his arm. Obviously. Loves Pirates of the Caribbean. Wow. Um, it's like we never left. No, like and... My brain is having a really hard time comprehending all this. Yeah, no, I, I, I am too. It feels kind of like a dream almost, like yeah. we're not really here. All the smells, like everything's just... Yeah, I can smell the, the Bengal barbecue from here. It's the same. It's, it's Which is crazy. Wow. Um, to think that this place was empty for a year and a half and, and now everything's up and running at nearly full speed. Uh, it is very busy. Um, not busy like before the whole thing happened, right? But it's pretty busy. We've been told that it's really busy in the, uh, in the mornings. And... You'll get a big crush of people at opening, and then it will taper off throughout the day. I don't know if that will continue to be the case this weekend. I'm interested to find out uh, if that's the case. You can see the crowds. The Jungle Cruise is open. No way. The Jungle Cruise is open. They have for another week. They've just rethemed it. Yeah. No. Well, I'm excited. Yeah, we should definitely I don't check like that out. The first ride, but we should definitely go. It can't be the first ride. No. No, I, I, I hear you. I love it, but... I think Shannon has already picked. Yeah. Indy's packed. Indy is packed. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones goes all the way. This is the line for Indy. And it stretches. Man, that's that's a beefy line for Indy. It's busy. Um, so in case you're wondering, there is no fast pass anymore for anything. There is no max pass anymore for anything. It's been shut down. Um, Indiana Jones has been Stereotypically like a fast pass kind of thing. Ah, okay. So I've changed my mind. You have changed your mind. Yeah. We're not going to... Big Thunder? We're going to Pirates for Chandler. Oh, oh. Yeah. Pirates is the first ride this year. Let's do this thing. Pirates is the first ride. Is this the queue? Oh my gosh. Yes. Line starts here. These guys, okay, let's hop in. Here we go. <laughs> It's already moving fast. Are we really doing pirates first? Oh yeah, absolutely. We planned it a long time ago. Seriously? <laughs> and by we, I mean Shannon. So I love the pirates line because it's totally deceptive. It looks like it's going to be a, an hour long and it's like 10 minutes. It's one of the fastest moving rides. Yeah. It, it's, it's if not the, I think it's hour. probably the fastest movie yeah. ride. Oh my gosh, can't believe we're standing right here. Cast members and execs call it a people eater. In Disney speak, Pirates of the Caribbean is a people eater because you can move so many people through it. So as I was saying before Shannon, quote, changed her mind, I'm using my quote fingers. So before Sh Shannon changed her mind, there is no fast pass. Right. There is no max pass. A lot of people are very upset about this. I actually love it. I couldn't be happier about it. I'm with you, honestly. Are you? Yeah, because it makes the normal ride just work the way it's supposed to. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it, uh, normal queues are a lot shorter because of it. If you think about it, 
Fast pass is a standby line killer, right. Right? right? It just completely destroys the standby line. Makes it take much, much longer than it actually should because you're filling it up with fast pass people. And then you have fast pass people standing in line. There were times when I would come here and fast pass was moving as slow as the standby oh, yeah. because they were giving us so many fast passes. Uh -huh. So I think this is actually a great thing. I know they're going to bring it back some sort of VIP access or some sort of front of the line thing, you know? And I think they're going to charge like between 8 and 17 bucks per, 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 ride. per ride. And people are pissed. Yeah, people are pretty, uh, pretty unhappy about it. Uh, I'm, I'm like the unpopular guy because yeah. I think it's great. Uh, I'm not the biggest Fast Pass fan. There's nothing worse than to kind of ruin the Disney magic when you're in a line and then you see like all these people who are cooler than you. Go yeah, yeah. Pass and you're like, well, all right. I never looked at it so much like they're cooler than me, but you but know what? Treated better. You know, you know, you know what I think? I don't like the whole left brain thing. I know it's, it's, a, it's a left right. brain, right brain thing. Yeah. And the left brain, right brain thing is, okay, we're going to schedule out our day. We're going to zip from ride to ride to ride to ride to ride. We're going to have it all scheduled like and planned out. They've got like an Excel sheet ready to go. <laughs> and they're like, okay, we're going to do this, 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 this. And we're going to be able to do it all in four and a half hours. And if we don't, then I'm going to be upset. Right, exactly. Uh, that's what I don't like. I would much rather just kind of wander around the park. Go with the Disney Magic. Go with go what, with yeah, exactly. Go with what uh, works for you and, and uh, enjoy it, you know? Just... Sit in, the, sit in the lines and people watch and have conversations and you know another thing that I've never been able to understand certainly not jamming on anybody that does it uh -huh. reading when you're in the line <laughs> enjoy the enjoy that's, another one of those, that's another one of those things that always kind of like I'm gonna read a nice and all what what yeah. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna find it you're gonna read a Hardy Boys while you're standing in line? You're gonna read the Odyssey or you well, something I, from Homer. You know? Why would you wanna take yourself out of the environment? Yeah. You don't come to Disneyland to read a book. For me, the queue is just as important as the actual ride itself. Yeah, yeah, pirates, yeah. Pirates, you get the pirate smell of the water, uh Indiana yeah. Jones, that's its own right. The right. Know, the queue, it's its own right. Uh, and look at all these amazing people. I mean when you scan around, you look at all of these amazing people, every single person in here is celebrating a victory in some sort of right. a way. That's the Cool thing about this. Every single person, every single person is enjoying. Sorry, Shay, you're so short. I was doing very, I had a very poignant moment there. There's a, a very profound and poignant moment, and I'm scanning around top of her ears. and I got your ears. <laughs> anyway, the point I was trying to make is that every single person that's in this line has it, they've, they've worked really hard to get here. They've worked really hard to get here. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even when you're a local, you know, you still have to work really hard to get in here. Especially without annual passes now. It's definitely worth it. Yeah. It's definitely worth the experience to work that hard to get in here. Yeah. Um, so when you come here, leave your book at home. Yeah. And have you noticed how fast the lines move? It, it, it is moving fast. We've moved quite a while. We were clear down there just a few seconds ago. We've already made it all the way up here. So cool. By the French market, which means I can smell the French dip, and now that's... that's now well, I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry. So what do you think? What do you think, Ronan TV? Is the French market better or is Cafe Orleans better? What do you think is better? Cafe Orleans, the Monte Cristo, the Frites. Absolutely. I mean, French yeah, market's yeah. good if you want like beignets. They're, they're good. They're not as good as Jazz Kitchen outside the Let's say Jazz Kitchen's beignets are better, yeah. They are. Although they're good. Uh, everyone loves the French dip at the French market, yep. uh, which I actually haven't had. Oh, you haven't? No. Well, we may have to do that this trip. Yeah. I've had many. Oh, have you really? Yeah, many. Um, it's been a while, but I have had uh, many French chip sandwiches. They're great. Yeah. Okay. They're good. The That's roast beef is very though. thick. It's very thick. So if you have a lot of crowns like I have, you got to be careful ripping into those French chips. <laughs> I'm not used to the humidity. Yeah, coming from Vegas to this. There's a small puddle in the base of my back. <laughs> a small puddle. I, I could I could go jump in the rivers of America and be more dry. <laughs> Yeah, see, you so can you cool. can tell if you look if you if you pan around, you can see it's very busy it's today. Busy. The thing is, we we've been talking with a lot of people who've been coming into the park. They yeah. say around five o'clock it clears out pretty quick. Yeah. Um, when we got into like our line to get our passes scanned into the actual park, we maybe stood there for what seven minutes max, if that. Uh yeah, oh yeah, not I mean so not, even not even that, not even that. It's not like you're waiting forever, but yeah. Yeah, moving smooth. It looks beautiful. Look Monte Cristos over there. Oh, look at the Monte Cristos. Monte Cristos. We need a we need a reservation. I guess I'll see if I can book one. We need a Monte Cristo, definitely. Hey, we got in the boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. Nearly three hundred. We did it. We're at we're in boarding group two thousand. Holy cow. Holy 
cow, holy cow. There's all kinds of like first world problems I'm dealing with. We haven't had these cameras in Disneyland before. Great. How do we turn off the monitors while we're on the ride yeah. so we're not those guys? I'm blinding everyone. Interesting, the, the queue says it's 50 minutes. And yeah. we've been standing here maybe 10, and we're oh, all well that. over halfway. Yeah, that's what I've noticed so far. In the short time that we've been here, don't believe the wait times. They're always shorter than they're saying. Yeah, don't believe the wait times. The wait times are actually much, much, much shorter than they're saying. This thing's moving. <laughs> yeah, and it is busy today, but it's moving. Yeah. Not 50 minutes at all. First ride, first ride. First ride of the trip. You know, I think it's been a long time since we've done Pirates as the first ride. Um, it, yeah, it's usually what I would choose. <laughs> but you don't get to choose. It's always, it's always mom. So, what are some other first rides that we've done? On your birthday trip two years ago. Yeah. We ended up doing the Mark Twain, which... Right. Is Which we didn't know what you would expect, right? No, we didn't plan on it either. It was just really busy was and there so wasn't a line. Fun. So much fun. It set the tone, right? It really did set the tone. Yeah, I agree. Um, another one is the train. We've done that. Done the train a lot first, ago. right? It's cool you, again, you get to see the whole park. Typically, it's Big Thunder because yeah. Shannon loves Big Thunder. <laughs> yeah. Or it's Matterhorn. Matterhorn. The year I broke my rib. We did Big Thunder first, and then we did the uh, the matter. Or no, we, we did, did Matterhorn first. Oh yeah. We right. did Matterhorn first, and then we did Big Thunder, and Shannon broke my rib. And then he said, "Let's do Indy to see if it's really broken." Yeah, and it it, it definitely was. This is insane. So excited. <laughs> I'm freaking out. Oh man. Wow. Goodness. What? Uh, I'm like seven years old again. That smell of the water. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. It is the great injustice of YouTube that you can't smell what's going on in here. This is unbelievable. This is so cool. Any bets? Are there any bets? Oh, any bets on who's gonna get the worst case of puddle butt? You think you're gonna, it's always me. You're gonna get the worst case of puddle butt? You sit down and it's just like it's just butt water. And you're like, okay, every time. If you don't know, I don't know how you couldn't, but if you don't know, puddle butt is what you get on Pirates of the Caribbean when you get on the boat and you immediately sit down in water. Who's getting the worst puddle butt? Who's getting the puddle butt? Mom. Oh no, Chandler. You're getting puddle butt? Yeah? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. That was fast. We are on our way. Amazing. And Davy Jones waiting for them. What don't obey?
gold and the treasure map and the key as well. Oh man, mission accomplished. That was that was beautiful. I got soaked. You got really wet. My glasses are drenched. I'm, I'm really, really soaked. All right, let's get out here and see who's got the worst case of puddle butt. I I have no puddle butt at all. It's Yeah, you guys are both okay. It dried very fast. Yeah, we uh. We made it through without a serious case of puddle butt, which is good. That first right here, I, I could not stop smiling through that entire thing. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for doing that first. Heck yeah. That, that was really good fun. job. Yay. Good so, job, babe. Look at those glasses. They're drenched. Yeah. His yeah. precious blenders are ruined. Yeah. That's all right. We'll figure it out. <laughs>